Hello everyone, welcome back to a new video. In this video I'm going to show you how I create this Japanese maple leaf nail. Uh, I'm using uh, Neos metallic green for my base colour and I'm going to be using blueberry bonbon from Nail Sugar which is one of my favourite glitters. It is beautiful. So I just threw this together yesterday. Oh, I had an accident. I always do this. So it seems if it's not glitter, it's acrylic. <laughs> this is why I absolutely love my cuticle pusher. This is like um, my little shovel. So if this does happen to you, find your cuticle pusher and just rescue what you can. Ta-da! <laughs> so just cover the whole nail in your green acrylic. Um, and I wasn't actually going to do, this isn't the nail I was going to do, I was trying to do a, I wanted the base of the nail to be more, okay, what I'm trying to say is, this isn't, this wasn't a planned nail, um, <laughs> I was trying to get a more aquary colour, I wanted to do a wintry nail, but, um, I've, once you've done that, pop the, uh, blueberry bonbon on, and you can see that the, blueberry bonbon the actual color unfortunately gets a bit lost on this green um, acrylic so um, I had to change my idea of the nail what I was doing but it's fine I can um what's the word what's it called when you I don't know I can't think of the word um, but this is the nail um, with the glitter on. I just like to pack it on there because I was trying to make it more as aquary as I could. But it, I mean, it's still, you can see some of the blue in there, but the green is pretty bright. So cover the whole nail in clear acrylic. Uh, so it's set and I filed and buffed it. Um, if you're not very good at painting, I would suggest that you top coat the nail first. Um, I'm getting a little bit more confident with painting so I didn't bother um, I've taken a red and a hot pink gel polish and I've just mixed them together to create a more um, a more I suppose pinky red um, <clears throat> I was because of the color of the nail I wanted to do something florally because um, I thought the flowers would look nice on the green background so I done a Google search and um, I wanted to do a winter flower because it's still winter and um, somewhere in my Google search came up with um, Japanese maple leaves trees which were I looked at them and they were the most beautiful red color so I decided that I was going to draw some Japanese maple leaves on the nail um, so basically it's literally just like a maple leaf but the I don't know what you call them are they like arms the little arms of the leaves are a little bit thinner than like a Canadian maple I don't know how you describe them I'm not very good with leaves and stuff so I'm just adding another one on here um, half of a leaf that's coming onto the nail if that makes sense I asked you again if it makes sense why not do that so each time I do a leaf I'm just gonna flash cure it so that they don't um, run into each other um, I'm gonna put another one up in the top left hand corner I didn't know whether to cover the whole nail uh, or just do a few of them um, in the end I just went with a few and I just stuck them uh, at the top end of the nail near the cuticle area so put on as many as you like Karen um, suggested to me uh, that next time I do this nail I should um, instead of green what would have been nice would have been like a, a rich sort of brown glitter um, to make it look more like a tree colour I suppose if that's what she meant I know what she meant I mean, she, did, she explained it well but I can't remember how she explained it <laughs> but because this was a uh, a quick is it impromptu nail not impromptu What's it called? Improv it's, I had to improvise with this now. I think that's the right word. Um, i just done it on the screen background, so you could choose a better background colour than what I've got here, but it's still damn pretty. So I've just added a couple more leaves on, <coughs> and it looks like this now. So I've cured those in the lamp, and I've created a mix of 
yellow and white to create um, a pale, a pale yellowy. It was sort of in the picture. Um, the leaves had really fine, um, like veins running through them, that were sort of yellowy orange. So I made a yellowy mix, and what I'm going to do is just. I decided as I went on doing this, um, you literally don't need hardly any in your brush. <coughs> Almost like you've run out of paint in the brush. You don't even need to load it really. Um, can you see how fine those lines are? I'll show you in a minute. I don't know how how well you can see detail um, when you're actually watching it through the internet, but when I watch it on my iPad on my iPhone because I've actually recorded it on my iPhone it's usually pretty clear but I suppose it depends on your internet connection um, I'll show you in a minute so you can see there how fine those lines are um, apart from that first one that initial one that I did I'm just gonna try and thin that out a bit So I'm just going to do the rest on, uh, just do the same on the um, the rest of the leaves to give them a bit more detail. So I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to, even though it's a thin layer, you still need to cure it in a lamp. Uh, then I'm taking, I see I should have done this initially. Um, <coughs> got like a brownie coloured gel polish um, and I tried to just add some little tree branches to the background just so it looks like this they're actually on a tree and not just floating in the air <laughs> so I cure that and I've given it I'm gonna give it now a second coat that again and that is what it looks like before we top coat this is the magical part I think I had done this at normal speed because this is my favorite part and I love this glitter Look how pretty that is just gives the it just gives it a really kind of I want to say wintry feel but it just it's lovely so that's the nail before I cure it pop it in the lamp give it a full cure and that is the finished nail I thought that looked quite nice quite nice um, so thank you for watching if you did like this video please leave me a thumbs up and as always I'll see you in the next one